We screened 2,000 eyes in 6 days. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite optometrist. Recently, my work colleagues and I embarked on a very meaningful journey to a part of Ghana called Kumwa. Over just 6 days, we screened about 2,000 eyes, provided essential eye care, and also gave the gift of vision. Let's dive into this journey together. Stay tuned. So here is the team. Each morning we had our breakfast around 6 a.m. After we map out our day, strategizing our movements and coordination, each team was tasked with visiting three communities a day. Our trip took us through a number of villages. The distance stretched from one village to another often taking about 20 to 30 minutes by car. We traveled by car, but most locals got around by foot or by a motorbike. It was tough to see that there were no hospitals, clinics, or even pharmacies close by. This meant that people with eye problems or so any health emergency in general couldn't get help quickly. That's why we saw so many folks with eye issues. Our work felt very important, bringing eye checks and help to those who needed it the most. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Each place we visited has its own way of life. We set up our screenings wherever we could, like community centers, churches, or really any open space available to us. The word of our arrival spread fast thanks to public announcement systems and a local announcer known as Daruboni, who would go around the village ringing a bell and telling everyone where we were. We are going to the next location. We began a screening by letting them know the purpose of our visit in an eye health talk. We also allowed them to ask questions and told them we would refer them to the hospital when necessary. On average, we saw about 150 to 200 people each day. Sadly, many had lost their sight from conditions that could have been treated, like refractive errors, injuries to the cornea that were untreated and cataracts. It was heartbreaking, but being able to give out free medication and reading glasses brought us all so much happiness. People could read again and take care of their eyes. Those with cataracts were sent to Cape Coast Teaching Hospital for their free cataract surgeries.
the fourth day, we were all extremely tired from moving around all day. I got a cold from all the dust and others got bad sick. But we knew we had to push through to finish the screening and accomplish our mission. That was the goal. I'm good, tired, but still have very tired. Finish. Yes, our church. Yeah. I don't have any energy. My energy is done. Today is the last day of our our church at at home. In terms of the rural communities, how is their access to eye care like? What do you think? What do you think should be done? There's a lot of work to be done. We need more facilities, we need more personnel, we need more programs to reach those in the rural communities. Right. They have a lot of issues. You think they don't have too much information, but they have. And they need to come to them. Okay. Get me. We have barriers. Thank you, Dr. Kwame Yeboi. for surgery. The results were incredible. After so long, they could clearly see again. This meant they could do things for themselves and go back to their everyday work. It was amazing to see how something like this could really change someone's life. Yeah. 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 The last time they are announcing, I'm so angry. My baby, to be banned on my head, I'm so just saying, I'm going to be a baby. I'm a prison. Maybe beginning, I'm so prison. I'm a kind of a cinema. Later, I'm a dream with the I'm so sad. I remember, yeah, I'm so sad. I remember, see, I'm in charge of your buy and swear and draw. I'm okay. You won't be a difference. Said the man, you know, it's news. It's so bad, you know, to me. And I'm your much or when you are a cancer. Then, 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 to the and we'll be That's a wrap on this incredible journey. Thank you to every single person who made this possible from the hospital to the stakeholders to every person who made this. And journey possible. We say a very big thank you and God bless all of you. I want to use this opportunity to call upon the government and non-governmental organizations to join forces to provide healthcare to underserved communities. Your contribution will make a major difference to someone's life. You have no idea. Don't forget to like this video, share with others, and subscribe to my channel. Hi guys! 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 Hi gu